Hello everyone from uh, YouTube. I just wanted to say, and uh, from many places around the world, I just wanted to say this uh, This is actually a response to the debate I just saw um, not too long ago. It's um, a, an intelligence squared debate for the United States. The motion is it's wrong to pay for sex. There's three on the side that were for the motion that it was wrong and there were three against the motion saying it was okay to pay for sex. Um, needless to say, this entire debate, I'll give you guys the link in, in the sidebar, by the way. Um, but uh, the, the problem I had with this debate was that um, it didn't explain a whole hell of a lot. Um, actually, I was disappointed not just on the side of the the for the motion for it's wrong to pay for sex but the people against the motion were not very um, successfully fighting for that side either um, the problem I found with the arguments for the motion it's wrong to pay for sex <laughs> I hate to say it but it seemed like there was a lot of blaming on the side of, oh, well, sexual abuse, rape, and all that is goes into, you know, sex. Because, because sexual assaults and rape include sex, then that makes it okay for me to debate this. And that's not simply not the case. You know, the uh, people against the motion were were very very clear saying that of course they did not uh, include um, child pornography or children who are engaging in these kinds of activities no 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 they were totally against that no I think I think the whole debate should have revolved around you know the 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 debate was actually very broad in the sense it's it's wrong to pay for sex but they they didn't say specifically, okay, is it wrong to pay for sex if you're a minor, uh, if you're an adult, you know, they're, they're, they're just pretty, cl you know, they didn't narrow it down, and it seemed like, I think the debate should have been about, okay, should it be wrong to pay for sex, you know, legal adults that can, that can engage in it, um, you know, like in Nevada, where you have to be 21 or 18, I think. I, I don't know what the the age is in uh, Nevada to actually prostitute yourself or whatever, but I think the debate should have been on the issue of legal prostitution, not on the debate. Uh, I mean, and if that was the case, then I think they should have stuck with it. The people who were for the motion really stuck the points as far as I mean they said these like little quips that oh men do all this damage to women and all this and you know they had these great arguments and actually the result was that the the people for the motion that it's wrong to pay for sex actually won in this debate I think that was the fault of both sides because both of them really didn't have any uh, good arguments, uh, really, really strong arguments. Like I said, for the motion, they had arguments that didn't really have to do, I don't think, necessarily with the topic that was at hand. And also, the people against the motion, the best speaker was Signe Barrows. She was a former madame for, in, in the state of New York. Uh, for selling sex to, to of uh, women voluntarily uh, to other guys, and she didn't accept anybody under the age of 19. I think that's a good thing. You know, I mean, if that were legal, um, I, I think that should be legal, um, personally. I think once you turn 18 or 21, depending on which county you live in, or when, when they they see you as a responsible adult and can live on your own and whatever, I think that's a perfect age to be able to say whether or not you should be able to. Unfortunately, in the United States, of course, there is only one state that has portions of it, not even the entire state. 
but portions of it where prostitution is is legal. The worst speaker I, I, I think in the entire debate was Wendy Shallot. Um, again, she brought in a bunch of things that weren't even really sh that really shouldn't even been part of the argument. She talked about trafficking of women. Sending them to a foreign country that's not even in the jurisdiction where they're from and forcing them to have sex for to make money so they can get a ticket back home. Yes, I am totally against it. That's the other part of the debate that I, I didn't see enough of. On the side for the motion, they didn't say anything about choice. No, no, they didn't talk about choice. They talked about rape victims. They talked about sexual assault you know, and people that get molested are more likely to be prostitutes. So what? Once you're an adult, you have that, you should be able to have that choice. I'm not saying everybody should do it. No. Uh, um, and then, because the other point that was brought up by Wendy Shallot in, in the uh, debate that really kind of was like a really stupid point that nobody just kind of caught on to they just the audience apparently just clapped at anything but she made the point that well you don't know what the the psychological and and physical damage it does to these women to engage themselves in this i'm sorry but every job has that Everybody, every job bogs you down psychologically and physically. That's why it's a job. Every fucking job does that. Uh, I'm sorry to say it like that, but I mean, I mean, some of the points they were making were just very broad and general, and they weren't making. And unfortunately, on the other, on on the against the motion portion, the the two men, the scholars, weren't fighting hard enough. I don't think for. Um, uh, I mean, against the motion that it's wrong to pay for sex. Um, you know, Tyler Cohen was saying it's it's more of an economic matter and it should be freed up by choices. I agree, but he didn't really make... Again, they didn't really make a, a lot of sense in that regard. I personally, like I said, I'm against the motion that it's wrong to pay for sex for legal adults. Um, that uh, want to find work. I mean, of course, it's not, like I said, it's not legal, so don't do it unless you're in a place where you're allowed to do it, like the state of Nevada, portions of the state of Nevada that uh, allow you to do so. But, I mean, just like liquor and everything else, I think it should be regulated. You know, I think it should be, you know, women, the women should be clean, STD tested, STD free. Um, I'm saying women, but I, I don't care what gender um, it goes. That's another thing that I hated from the for the motion standpoint. They always said it's always women that are in these positions and stuff. But it's like th there's men that prostitute themselves too, and they totally neglected that. I think it's a, I think it was more of an attack from women to men that, oh, men do all these horrible things to women, shame on them. And I don't think that was any part of the debate whatsoever. I think it was totally off-key. And um, so I'll be posting the, uh, I'll be posting the uh, link in the sidebar over here uh, to the debate for anybody who wants to watch it. It's a pretty lengthy debate. It's about two hours long. So brace yourself if you want to watch it. And uh, thank you for your time. It was nice to talk to you all.